Beelzebuth, or Belzebub, or Beelzebuth, Prince of Demons, according to the scriptures, foremost in power and crime after Satan, according to Milton, supreme chief of the Infernal Empire, according to most demonographers, his name signifies Lord of the Flies. Bowden claims that he is no longer seen in his temple. He was the most revered god of the Canaanites, who sometimes represented him with the figure of a fly, more often with attributes of a sovereign power. He rendered oracles, and King Otosius consulted him over a troubling malady. He was severely reprimanded for this by the prophet Elijah. One attributed to him the power to deliver men from flies who ruined the harvests. Almost all the demonomaniacs regard him as the sovereign of the gloomy empire, and each depicts him colored by his own imagination. Milton gives him an imposing aspect, and high wisdom breathes on his face. One says he is as high as a tower, another of a size equal to our own. Some give him the form and figure of a snake. In that form, he is also seen with feminine traits. The monarch of hell, said Palingene in Zodiaco Vitae, is of a prodigious size, seated on an enormous throne surrounded by a ring of fire. He has a swollen chest, bloated face, flashing eyes, raised eyebrows, and a menacing air. He has extremely large nostrils and two great horns on his head. He is black like a moor. Two vast bat-like wings are attached to his shoulders. He has two large duck feet, a lion's tail, and shaggy hair from his head to his feet. Some say greater than Beelzebuth is Priapus. Others, like Porphyrus, confuse him with Bacchus. Some believe that they found in him the Belbog or Belbuk, white god of the Slavs, because his bloody image was always covered with flies, like the Beelzebuth among the Syrians. One said also that he was the same as Pluto. It is more reasonable to believe that he is Baal, whom Wyrus made Emperor of Hell. All the more so, since Beelzebuth is not found by that name in his inventory of the Infernal Monarchy. One sees in Solomon's clavicles that Beelzebuth appears sometimes in monstrous form like that of an enormous calf or a goat with a long tail. Nonetheless, he is often shown with the face of an ugly fly. He appeared to Faust, dressed like a bee, and with two dreadful ears and his hair painted in all colors with a dragon's tail. The Marichal of Retz saw him as a leopard. When he was angry, one swears that he breathed fire and howled like a wolf. Finally, sometimes Astaroth appears at his side in the form of an 